Say man, hey man. It's your boy Do It All Hall, and we're back with another NBA 2K24 next gen, next gen build video. And today we have the ultimate tempo pushing point. This build right here is crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, man. We got some great finishing on this build with the driving dunk, the layup, 92 post control on this build. You can shoot threes, you can shoot in the mid range. You can really play point guard with this build with the 84 passing that you have. You got the ball handle to get your own shot and you have some defense. Don't sleep on that. So make sure you guys watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. There's a like button time and I need you guys to go down there and hit the like button. Get this video to 100 likes. And if you haven't already, hit the link in the description to join the Discord. So we're going with the point guard position. Six foot eight, man. One of my favorite heights on the game. 193 on the weight. Seven five wingspan. Let's get into the build. So we're going to start with that post control, man. The mighty post control. Oh my goodness. A 92 post control, man. We're doing this for two reasons, right? So first of all, we want to get that goal unpluggable because you're at the point guard position and when you're six foot eight, you can't get it. And we want to be able to get in the post and do what we do, man. You're going to have um, the ability to drop step on people. The post spin is crazy. So if you want to go play on the ones, you can do it with this build. Um, that will allow you to get to the rim really, really easy. And we have the standard dunk to go with it. So if you get on the goal and you drop step or something like that, you got the, um, the standard dunk to go with it. Uh, we have the driving dunk. It's optional. I would take it to a 75, but I just took it to an 80 for the hell of it, okay? Uh, we got a layup. We're going to take that to an 80. I would take it lower than that, but sometimes, you know, we just we just, we just just make the bill as best that we can, you know, because an 80 layup is, is you know, great for some people. Some people like to do scoop of, uh, float game and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I like to take things up higher for those people that like to do that. Um, and we're going to come down to the strength. Y'all know how I feel about that strength. Uh, 74 strength, um, 70 vertical. It's all you really need. Um, we're going to be able to get what we need up here at the top with posterizer. Um, we got slithery. We got spin cycle on gold, two step on gold. We get fearless. We get um, acrobat on silver, bunnies on silver. So that's pretty good right there, man. We also get some good gold badges, as you guys can see. So you can finish really good at the rim with this build with no problem. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean, make it a girl screen badge. This build can shoot, you know. Uh, we don't want to change the name of the build. <clears throat> Excuse me. We did want to change the name of the build because um, we want tempo pushing point. Okay, and I know a lot of people are looking for that build, and we made sure you got it. Uh, for the mid-range shot, we're going to take that to a 72. <clears throat> Excuse me again. And the, um, the um, free throw is a 65. Let me take a sip of water right quick. <clears throat> mm. get, to, <clears throat> get to doing these videos, man, and it just, it just be crazy. But um, we should be straight right now. So uh, with the mid-range shot, we got a 72, like I said, 77 on the um, – on the three-point shot and the free throw is a 65 so if you can't shoot with a 77 three-point shot this build is not for you but i hate the people that get in the comments and say oh the three-point shot too low listen man i am a content creator i will create builds multiple different ways but there are some builds that you can't go no higher in certain categories this build right here if you take it to a 78 you will change the name of the build so before you even come in the comments, man, go try to make the build for yourself and take the three-point shot up higher. And you're going to see that you will get a different name. Simple as that. So um, don't be so quick to get in the comments and say something crazy without even going to check it for yourself. Even with the mid-range shot, you know, if you take that up too high, it's going to change the name of the build. And that's just what it is, man. I don't control that. You know, I just give you guys a build because I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there that is looking for a tempo pushing point. Simple as that. But let's go ahead and get to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody need mama can see this video. And I need everybody need mama to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Pass accuracy, we're going to get that up to an 84. And an 84 pass accuracy does allow us to get that silver needle threader. We get silver brace starter, dimer, relay pass, a touch passer. So you will be able to make those passes on time on target to your teammates. That's what it's all about. You know, you want to be able to do that as a point guard. Now, if you use that as a shooting guard or something like that, I understand. You not want to have your pass in that high, but if you're at the point guard position, man, you need to have that pass in high so you can get the ball to your teammates like they're supposed to. So when they get ready to shoot the ball, they don't have to reach down to the ground, they don't have to reach behind them over the head or anything like that. They can just catch the ball and shoot. Simple as that. For the ball handle, we're gonna get that up to an 85. 
that does allow us to get um, um, ankle breaker on goal, physical handles on goal, and we still want speed booster blow by triple strike and all that stuff. So we're going to take the speed with ball to a 77, and that does allow us to get that gold triple strike once we take this um, acceleration up. As you can see, you take the acceleration up to a 75, you get gold triple strike. And we're going to get this um, speed up as well. So uh, with gold triple strike, speed boost on silver, hyperdrive, and blow by on silver, I think you set yourself up to make some plays with this build, man. If you want to do any type of dribbling with this build, you can do it. Um, that's up to you. I don't know if you're a dribble head like that, but if you want to cook up with this build, you can cook up with this build, and that will allow you to get to the rim to get your own shot. Or... You can get to the rim, you know, drive and kick or whatever to your teammates. Similar to that, you know, it depends on what you're trying to do at that time. But let's go ahead and get it to the defense. Of course, we want some defense on this build. We don't want to be out there lacking. We want to have some good defense. So we're going to start with the perimeter defense by taking that up to an 85. And, yes, I know some people are going to say the build is 6 foot 8. Why you want to try to get anchor? Well, we didn't add any shot blocking on the bill, so we're not worried about that, man. Um, we're going to leave that to the other people. Uh, we're just going to play good perimeter defense and keep the people from getting to the rim, similar to that. But some people will get to the rim on you, but that's where your um, you know, your small forward, power forwards, and centers and stuff like that have to come into play. You know, you shouldn't have to be able to do everything with a point guard. You know, you're out there to do certain things, but I have a point guard with shot blocking because me personally, I like shot blocking. A lot of people don't care to have it on their point guard, and that's fine. So that's a personal preference, okay? Uh, for the steal, we're going to get that up to a 91. That does give us gold glove, gold intercept, and gold right stick ripper. Really, really good for this build. Um, you can get some steals for sure. You know, that's what I'm saying, man. Keep people on the perimeter. Don't let people get into the paint. Even though some people get behind you sometimes or they get past you sometimes, it happens. You know, but you want to try to stay in front of people and get you some steals. Simple as that. Okay, no rebound on the build as well. Uh, but we do have an 83 speed, which is pretty good in my opinion. Um, you know, you're six foot eight, so you're not going to be super, super fast. Um, so you want to make sure that you have enough speed to keep up with people uh we got a 75 acceleration um you're a big body you got strength and all that stuff so once you bump those smaller guards which you're not going to see a whole lot of small guards but uh once you come in contact with somebody that's a little bit smaller than you or shorter than you or whatever and don't have the strength then you're going to show that your strength is important okay uh 74 strength on this bill 70 um for the vert and the rest is on stamina now let's get into these shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now we do have shades up. Penny. We got Kay Cunningham and Lonzo Ball. And the build name is the Tempo Pushing Point. That's the build. Make sure you like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here, man. Challenge.